Hey guys, Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we will be taking you along on a car ride halfway across the country. We'll be stopping at coin shops, buying coins, showing you them on the way. So let's get this video started. We hope you enjoy. Alrighty guys, so we are driving to California for a different deal that we're working on. Not to do with coins, but we stopped by a coin shop in Wichita Falls today in Texas. We ended up buying five or six coins on the way there. And we talked with the owner and he was a really good guy. And he treated us pretty fair about with all the coins and their prices. And then now we just got to New Mexico, to Albuquerque, and we just got in the hotel. And I wanted to show you what we picked up today and then take you along for the ride when we show you some more stuff tomorrow. So let's show you those coins right now. All right guys, the first coin I wanna show you is this 1901 Barber Dime. You have 25, nothing crazy, not a super expensive coin, but it's like, uh, you know, make five or $10 on a coin, not too shabby. Nice original looking. Um, does have kind of some issues on the back of the holder, but that's okay. Here's kind of the big win of the day here, the 75cc. He hasn't, really ever seen many uh, trade dollars come into his shop and this was one of the first that he's purchased and uh, yeah he bought it Thursday we, we came in today and we picked it up uh, you know nothing that would cack but definitely a tougher date this 1909 Lincoln cent Grey Men's State 64 Brown still has some nice red left over in it most of the browns on the back for sure we have this 1909 VDB, Raymond State 65 red. Definitely some nice red color to the coin. And the last coin I want to show you, which is one of the coolest of the day, is this 47S Booker T. Washington. It has like a proof-like finish to the coin. That's why I picked it up. Someone smarter and better than me at grading could probably get this into a proof-like holder, but definitely does carry some premium when it has that proof-like finish, so definitely a good first day of the trip. What are we buying the first order this morning? 1921 Morgan Dollar, MS65 and an OGH. All right guys, so we just got back from the trip all the way to California. We found some interesting things along the way, a few coins here and there. We also got a lot of coins in from our online connections, but I wanna show you something really quick on what we picked up for our side or our sister's business that we're trying to develop. It's a lot of cool antique German Christmas, some ornaments, some tinsel, just something that's a little bit of a sneak peek for you if you're into old Christmas or you're a seasonal type of person. Let's show you guys that right now. Here's some antique German and Japanese Santas. These actually are uh, pretty high value. Here's something they call tinsel scrap. Really good condition on these. Most of the time they're bent or they have damage, but these were really well taken care of. Just a really neat group of things. But yeah, make sure to go check out our sister's channel. She's going to be coming out with weekly shorts, just talking about everything that comes to antiques and uh, old German Christmas. So go and subscribe there. So the trip overall was very fun. We got to drive all the way there. We got to see mountains. We got to eat decent food. Um, it was a little bit kind of Tough at times because there's a lot of mountains and we didn't drive the craziest car. We ended up driving a Prius all the way there and back. Uh, but we did find a lot of cool things, like I said, for my sister and what she's working on. And we also got to get a lot of coins in. And so we're going to spend some time right now showing you guys all the new purchases that we got in. We hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, the first coin I want to show you today is this 1803 Large 3 Drape Bust Half. Really nice original look. I think it had some old cleaning on it, but it retoned very well. It has a really nice dark patina to it. It's kind of the look that most collectors go for, especially in this era. And uh, this type, definitely nice, but I don't think it passed at CEC. Just something that I wanted to throw in there for you guys. Next one is this 1873 Open 3 Shield Nickel. It's in the ANA holder. Definitely really nice. I looked for the double die reverse, which kind of happened, or double die obverse, which happens right up here. Uh, let me try to see if I can. It happens right here on the coin. 
kind of right up here by the details, but this one is not a double die obverse. Still a nice looking coin and a holder that's very desirable. The next coin is this 1939 Proof Mercury Dime. Sat in an envelope for a little bit. I don't think it's an envelope. Probably just where it was housed and stored before someone took it out of a set. It's a little bit dark and dingy, but still a nice little gem. Not many issues, no hairlines really. Then we have this 1886S Half Eagle MS61. It is an OGH holder. Definitely some nice looking surfaces, probably a Minstate 62 by today's standards, but there's really not a whole lot of jump in that. Just a neat San Francisco piece of gold. Then we have a key date Buffalo Nickel. So this is a 1926S, really tough to find an XF, AU, and up. CEC approved, just a really nice original looking coin. And people that are Buffalo Nickel nuts, they're out there looking for this one. And... Uh, it's just as nice and pure as it can come. Then we have this 1887 Morgan Dollar. Nothing too crazy about it. A little scuffiness on the holder. Chip on the bottom right of the holder. We buy these because there's just a huge craze for these right now. Then we have this 1935S San Diego Commemorative Half. It seems like people are really loving the commems right now. This one is an older holder. The decal on the back is stripped, which sucks, so make sure to not put stickers right here when you guys are uh, stacking these, just because people really like the hologram on the back for this for this uh, type of holder. So Then we have this 1865 3-cent nickel. It's kind of have a peachy, goldish toning to it, Mint State 65 plus, Civil War-esque time period, nice color. Just definitely a mark-free surface. Has a little die clash to it, but nothing too intense. We have this 1871 seated dollar. It's graded XF40. It's got a little old cleaning of the coin, but that's how most of these seated dollars come. It's very tough to get a sticker on a coin like this, and so um, if it was a little bit more original, I think it would pass, but definitely still a decent coin. We have this 1946 Iowa commemorative half, graded mid state 64. Blast White, someone that's getting into commandments would really like this coin, but this one definitely is picked up by the experts early on. Then we have this 1921 Morgan Dollar. I only really bought this because of the OGH holder. It seems like OGHs really have a nice time finding uh, people that like them. We just sold a 1895 Owen XF40 in an OGH, so definitely a nice looking coin though. Then we have a key date, 1921 Denver. In VF, it like doubles in price, so when I saw this coin, there was that spread, and I wanted to jump on it and buy it and see if you guys would pick it up, but I think it's like a $400 or a $350 coin in VF20 and like a $220 coin in Fine 15, so definitely a bargain, a fair value there. And then we have this 1935 Double Die Reverse Buffalo Nickel, arguably one of the most famous ones of the series. It's doubling right here. I probably could add a photo of it just to give you guys a little bit of a better perspective. It's kind of tough to show it off here, but definitely a decent coin that most Buffalo guys love. Thank you guys for taking a look at all of these new purchases. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on what we found in California, also the coins that we got in. What's your favorite coin of this whole video? Just let us know down below. Subscribe if you're new. We've got new videos coming out every single week, and we want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.